Hey everybody, this is Stephanie Janicek. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to uh, address some of the Raylos and the detractors and all the people who just feel so bad about for Kylo and he's so misunderstood. Guess what? When you come on my channel and you start giving me shit and I know I'm right, I'm probably going to ban you and delete your your line. I don't like trolls. If you have something intelligent to say, beside uh, some girl named Jessica who I can't find her comment anymore, but uh, saying that Raylo is beautiful. And, well, it might be if you think Fifty Shades of Grey and, you know, sadomasochism is beautiful. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, but this is going to be kind of a different kind of video, so I'm going to go through these real quick, and then we're going to get into it. Uh, first off, Carl, Carlos123, who I'm pretty sure is a PR guy for Disney or Lucasfilm, showed up and said, basically, Johnson wrote his script while TFA was filming. Okay, Signs and Smoke Signals was, was starting to get published on an archive of our own in January of 2016. Okay, and... Let's put it this way, again, because these people, Carlos123 and the others who are detracting from this, have not read any of the articles talking about how much Signs and Smoke Signals looks like The Last Jedi, okay? Ryan Johnson plagiarized that. We all know he plagiarized a fanfic for Ray Lowe and Ray Nobody because it is almost to the letter, all right? So let's go to LaBella Don, who will say something and then delete her her comment so I can't block her because she's a chicken shit bitch character assassination is di the character assassination of Han Leia and Lucas Disney's fault no it's not no da La Bella Donna whatever your name is you stupid twat it is not Disney's fault it is Kathleen Kennedy's fault it is J.J. Abrams fault them allowing a, an, a, an unknown director like Ryan Johnson to run roughshod over canon lore in even Disney's new canon. All right, so blaming Disney is just a way for you to rationalize Raylo, which is irrational in of itself. But it's a stupid, stupid thing to say to somebody like me, La Bella Dawn. And Murderous Joe. Kylo wasn't lying because Ray admits it. No, Kylo was not lying, murders Joe. And Ray believed him. You don't know how the Force works, do you? You don't know how the dark side works. Fear. Ren at least is smart enough to understand how afraid she is to know who her real parents are. That's why he did what he did, okay? And it's a very easy thing to retcon if they do it. And I guarantee you, with this backlash going on from fans like me, and the fact that Star Wars is out of China after three weeks and making nothing, and no sign of Kathleen Kennedy anywhere, and Ryan Johnson running from one uh, obscure internet uh, magazine to another, making excuse after excuse after excuse for fucking this up, all right? They're going to retcon this. They have to. All right? They have to. So the next part of the video is um, basically more on the Ray Lowe fans. So uh, how, where did all these girls come from that love this Ray Lowe shit and love Kyle, Kyle Ron? Uh, there's a show called, there was a show on HBO called Girls, and uh, Adam Driver was one of the uh, lead male characters, um, pretty much was where he really got his first major step into actually getting more acting gigs. And now, <clears throat> if you know anything about um, the show, you know that uh, it was written and produced uh, by this slob, Lena Dunham. Isn't she cute? What a sophisticated lady. Um, and this is where Adam Driver's... Uh, other fans, came it seems like, migrated from Twilight, where you have a protagonist, a female, uh, enthralled with a rather dangerous guy 
And, you know, it's young adult fiction. It doesn't really belong in Star Wars, it, you know. But <clears throat> these fans were attracted to that. Then we have Mommy Porn with uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, the uh, sadomasochistic, really disgusting, uh, unromantic, vile uh, books and movies. Um, a lot of women seem to be attracted to this stuff, and I, I don't, I really don't get it. Uh, to me, um, you know, it's, it's dangerous to even think about that. Now, I mean, look at this. Are we supposed to think that this is loving? He's going to take her head off. Um, is this, is this supposed to be, be beautiful? I mean, he's mind raping her. And, you know, for some reason, there are just some girls out there, uh, who are really attracted to this kind of thing. I mean, here's the problem I have, uh. When the novelization of The Last Jedi comes out, we are going to get Han Solo's funeral and some other far more interesting scenes. They were sacrificed for Raylo, which is just a stupid idea. And we all know that it was stolen from fanfic. Um, you, you know, people can out there can deny it, but it's true. Uh, and it's, you know, and I, and I want to ask um, uh, people out there, do you really think it's a good idea to um, forward this sort of sad boy, um, he needs a savior, the girl can go and save him kind of thing. I mean, where in the rules does it say that she's respon that Ray is responsible to save Kylo's soul? Um, and let me let me let me explain let me explain it in in a way that. Uh, I know sophisticated people will understand because Raylo is the most unsophisticated thing I've ever seen in my life, and I and I am a I'm six credit shy of being a double major in history and, and, and literature. And trust me, I have studied chivalry and I've studied uh, poesy and all the rest of that stuff. So do not tell me what romance is. I know a lot more than all of you out there. Um, she's not responsible to save his soul. Uh, here's and here's the difference. When you look at the first the first three movies, uh, Han Solo um, could have left any time he wanted. He could have left the rebellion right away, and there would have been no rebellion because the Death Star would have blown up. Be having four, blown up. Be having four, but he didn't. He came back. Um, let's go back to a scene in A New Hope when he basically tells her, "No, no, look, I'm just in it for the money. I'm not in it." For your, your, for your revolution, and she says, if money is all you want, Leia says, if money is all you want, then that is what you will get. And then, as Leia's leaving the cockpit of the Falcon, she looks at Luke and says, your friend is quite the mercenary, it's wonder he cares about anything or anyone. Camera pans just to Harrison Ford as Han Solo, and he doesn't look happy, okay? Then, when they get to Yavin 4, they get on that transport thing, and General Dodonna is saying, we were worried. We thought you were. We thought you were dead too. And she says, "There's no time to. There's no time to mourn." And the person who's looking at looking at them and interest and, and listening is Han Solo. So he stays at the rebellion for three years. Why? He doesn't want to be part of the revolution, but he stays. He fights with them. Why? Because regardless of whether he was committed to the re rebellion or not, he was committed to Leia. All right, and that is the bottom line. I don't care what anyone else says, that is what happened. Um, so, you know, she makes him want to be a better man, to borrow a cliche from As Good As It Gets, which is actually a good movie. Um, and, and, that's, and that's how real romance starts. Uh, does he resent her for it? Yeah, he does. She resents him a lot. That's why they're arguing. That's why they're fighting. Um, that's why she was so angry at him after uh, Ord Mantell. She knows he's going to have to leave. I mean, he spent way too much time running around with them, helping the rebellion when he should have been going off to pay off Jabba the Hutt. Now, in Leia's mind, he probably is dodging, dodging having to pay J Jabba. But was he? Maybe part. Maybe it was part of it, but it's not the whole reason. Okay, it's not the whole reason at all. Um, and when you look at that romance compared to this stupid Raylo shit, 
it's so much more sophisticated. There's so much going on between those two characters. There's so much going on, so much, so many subtleties. As uh, Irvin Kirshner said, he had to direct a romance that was implied. So you can you can see where it's going. You have to think about it. With with, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's movie audiences today. Maybe it's the fact that uh, you know, uh, you know. Kathleen Kennedy and, and Ryan Johnson just, you know, grabbed that fanfic and ran with it because they thought that's the way it was going to go. Uh, and really pushed it out there in the fact that Ryan Johnson really wanted to make, and he has said this, wanted to make people feel bad for Kylo, Kylo Ren. I don't, which is why we didn't get Han Solo's funeral. Because that would have put into context just what a piece of shit Kylo Ren, Kyle Ron, Kyle Ron really is. Okay. Right, we didn't need Luke, you know, basically saying what he said at the end about his father and him, um, because that was just stupid. I mean, the, well, the whole movie, The Last Jedi is stupid. It's just really just friggin' stupid. But, uh, you know, having at least a, a, a visual remembrance of what Ren really did would have been a good way of reminding people that he is not a good guy. And back in the old days, when they actually made narrative film that actually was really good, they would have reminded us about every last dirty thing Kyle Ron did. Uh, killing Lor Santeca, ordering the destruction of the village, um, murdering, butchering his father like a dog on a catwalk. You know, and to um, LaBella Dawn, LaBella, okay, this is for you, honey. I know Harry wanted to leave. All right? I'm not talking about him. Kyle Ron, you know, your 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 obsession here, your knee pad, Kyle Ron shit that's going on, Monica Lewinsky. Um, you know, it doesn't work in Star Wars, okay? I don't know where you came from. I don't know why you care so much about science fiction fantasy because I doubt you ever watched any of it before. I don't remember anybody showing up like this and going crazy over uh, going crazy over any of the actors in The Lord of the Rings like this. Um, and, it, and it really is. It's, it's just three different desperate, disparate groups of, of sad, lonely, mostly millennial girls that, and, you know, boys, that are really, really, really you know, yelling the loudest in this. And Disney, instead of actually really doing their job and actually wanting to really write good stuff, just said fine. Okay, they just said fine. We'll, we'll, we'll you know, and, and they allowed, and Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams, who are both to blame for this, gave Ryan Johnson way too much leeway. There was no direction. There was no director. There was no direction to go. J J.J. Abrams laid out a pretty easy map to follow. And Johnson said, fuck it. And he made his... He, he didn't even make a Star Wars movie. The Last Jedi doesn't fit in anywhere. All right? It's it's like literally like this fever dream, as it's been described to me before. So, um, you know, if you want to come on here and argue with me, I'm, it's an argument I win, because I've been here longer than you, and I know, I know the lore better than you do. Okay, um, and I'm sorry, but if this something's a steaming pile of shit, and it has Star Wars written on it, it's still a steaming pile of shit, regardless what is what was stamped on it. All right, and that's for the the fanboys who are just like, well, it's Star Wars, and you should like it. And this is for you, Raylos. You guys really need to have a rude awakening about male female relationships because they do not work the way you think they are. They do. You do not owe. Any man, um, really, anything as far as saving his soul, he is responsible for that. He is responsible for his own actions. You being there, you know, taking care of him and, oh, I'll save him. No, you can't save him, okay? You can't change a man. He has to want to change on his own, all right? He has to change on his own. Okay, let me repeat. A man will only change if he is inclined to change. Which is the difference between Han Solo and who, whatever Kyle Ron is. Alright? 
he was inclined to change. Because, as Carrie Fisher said in the interview from The Empire Strikes Back, he's really nothing but a big ball of mush on the inside. And that swagger, that bravado, it was a facade. It's part of him, but he used it as a sword and a shield. It wasn't really who he was. Okay, so argue with me some more, Raylos. I'm I'm waiting because I will kick your asses from one end of the end of the internet to the other. Okay, and I'm here all fucking day. So this is Steph sending out a star on the galaxy, and you girls, you Raylos, go seek mental health.